Welcome to healthdetective.co.nz. I'm the health detective solving your health mystery. My name is Dr. Sam Shea. In today's mystery, we're going to be covering pinky and ring finger problems. Now, whether you're a manual worker or a musician or a mechanic or a hands-on therapy worker or, or frankly, even just a parent, you know, or, or anyone really, well, our hands are what make us human. So if you're having problems with your hands, it's pretty likely you're having problems with your daily life. Now, pinky and ring finger problems is a, one of the three major types of hand problems uh, that I treat in the clinic. And I'm going to share with you what this particular issue is, where the problems are, and what to do about it. Now, here in the pinky and in half, the outer half of the ring finger, you can have symptoms like pain, coldness, numbness, tingling, weakness, or a combination of all five. Now, what this problem is called is ulnar nerve neuropathy or an ulnar nerve pathology. So basically the hand is divided into two major pieces. This part is controlled by the ulnar nerve. This part is controlled by the median nerve. Now those nerves are comprised of combinations of individual nerve fibers that come from the neck. But the, when they blend together they're called uh, uh, the ulnar or the median nerve. Now, what's really interesting is that if you understand that the ring finger is the dividing line between the ulnar nerve and the median nerve, if you wake up or in the course of your day or your job or wherever it's triggered to have a coldness, numbness, weakness, tingling, or pain, feel on this side of the ring finger and you'll feel some of those sensations and then you feel on this side and it would feel normal. So the ring finger is the actual tell. So there's many places that the ulnar nerve can get into trouble. First one is right here at the this corner of the wrist, not at the thumb, but at the pinky side. Now there's this little bone here called the pisiform, and it forms kind of a canal uh, in a combination with a ligament and another bone, and it's called the canal of Guyon. Now that's just a fancy medical term, but really what it is, it's, it's kind of like a boulder with a canopy, a ligament canopy over it that the ulnar nerve travels through to get the sensation to the pinky and the, uh, outer, the, the inside half of the ring finger. Now typically what happens is that this is also called handlebar palsy because people who bicycle a lot put a lot of pressure on this particular bone. Um, other people that have struggled with this are, are certain chiropractors when they do a particular type of toggle adjustment it can create a similar issue. Uh, there's other people that have issues like this before. People put any weight on the side of their hands and it can create that issue here in the hand, and that's coming from the wrist. Next place it can come from is the elbow, called the cubital tunnel syndrome. Now the cubital tunnel is simply the medical term for the little groove on the inside of the elbow, and this is the funny bone. This is where the, this is the ulnar nerve is your funny bone. So if you twang your nerve here, you'll feel the sensation shoot uh, up and down the arm. So you can have problems here uh, in the elbow with scar tissue or injuries or, or other issues going on, but the ulnar nerve pain can be triggered from the elbow. Uh, one way to check it is that if you bend your elbow like this, you can trigger the pain in the hand, or if you lean on it a lot, say if you're working at a desk or, or whatnot. There's, there's many different ways you can trigger this, but it comes from the elbow, but it triggers the exact same symptoms here from the base of the hand up to the pinky and the, and the inside half of the ring finger. Next place that the ulnar nerve can get trapped is actually in three separate spots collectively known as thoracic outlet syndrome. Now, the thoracic outlet is a fancy medical way of saying, like, here's your thorax, and then there's some outlets. There's, there's some openings for the nerves and artery and vein to go through to get to irrigate the arm. So there's three spots. The first spot is right here underneath what's called the pec minor. This is a muscle that attaches on a, an attachment point of the shoulder blade. It's actually a little hook that comes forward from the shoulder blade called, for, for you medical geeks out there, the coracoid process. It attaches here and attaches on the, first, on the third, fourth, and fifth ribs. And if your shoulder rolls forward and that pec minor is spasmed, it can crush the artery, vein, and nerves going down to the hands. Now, if you crush the artery and the vein, you can get the whole hand having coldness, numbness, pain, tingling, or weakness. Whereas if it's affecting just the ulnar nerve, you're going to get the symptoms here 
in the hand just to the pinky and the inside portion of the ring finger. So that's one spot underneath the pec minor. The second spot is between the collarbone and the first rib, where again you can crush the artery vein or nerve. So if you've got the whole hand, it's most likely an artery or a vein that's causing the problem, but if it's just here, you're looking at the nerve being compressed. The third spot in the thoracic outlet is actually right here on the side of the neck. There's these two muscles called the scalenes. There's a front one, a middle one, and a back one. Now the, the two that we're concerned about is the front one called the anterior scalene and the middle one called the middle scalene. And what happens is that the, the artery and the nerves go between those two muscles to come out, emerge out, go between the collarbone and the first rib, underneath the pec minor and then down the arm. So if the middle and anterior scalene are spasmed, it can crush the artery and the nerves, creating sensations downstream. The last spot that, they, that the, you can get an ulnar nerve problem is actually at the level of the spine itself. The ulnar nerve is made of C8 and T1 nerves, which are wedged, which are in between the C7, T1, and T8 vertebra. So if you've got misalignments, inflammation, or even, you know, bony ossification, you know, degeneration in that area, you can get symptoms down into your hands and fingers. So those are the spots that you can have problems creating an ulnar nerve neuropathy. Now, how to treat it? The first thing we've got to do is locate the problem. Is it at the wrist? Is it at the elbow? Is it at the pec minor? Is it between the first rib and the collarbone? Is it coming from the, between the front and the middle scaling, or is it coming from the spine itself? We can locate those problems, then we can treat it without surgical means. Now, some of you uh, may be very concerned, and rightly so, about surgery. Some of the surgeries are very scary. Like, if you're going to do a surgery to help this area, they take out this muscle, the front scaling, and the first rib. Now, you may not be aware, but your lungs come right up to where the first rib is, and this muscle here is right next to the delicate vasculature, you know, right next to the, 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 the arteries going up to the brain. So that's a very, very scary, expensive, uh, dangerous surgery. You, you really want to avoid that, if at all possible. Or you're going to get chopped at the wrist or at the elbow, which are things that you want to avoid. So you're better off trying a non-surgical approach first to see if we can resolve the issue. So how do we treat it? First off, we use acupuncture. Now, I don't put acupuncture needles in the actual area where there's where the problems are okay I do a very different system called Dr. Tan's balance method uh, if, and I've, I've made a big chart of, of how that system works um, and, and I'm really really pleased with the results because you can put the needles in the complete opposite leg so if you're having the problem in the right hand you put the needles in the opposite left foot and what's great about that is aside from it muting the pain and helping with the, the numbness and the tingling and just it helps so quickly and so effectively is you don't put needles in a really painful part of the body and it also frees up this area for me to do manual work like myofascial techniques or soft tissue techniques without jostling needles so it is one of the safest acupuncture techniques I've ever come across and it's way easier on the patient as well because you're not sticking needles in painful areas. So you do soft tissue work around this area, working on the ligaments um, and all the, the, the muscles and, and everything from here to here, all the way down the elbow, working on the pec minor, the muscles and the fascia in between the first rib and the collarbone, right here and the musculature around the back of the neck. Then we can adjust the joints, whether it's the wrist, the elbow, the first rib, the collarbone, the vertebra, looking at biomechanics, like the way you lift things, your sleep position, typing, work position, looking at the handlebars of your bike, and then doing internal things to help reduce the inflammation. Well, internal and topical. So internal meaning removing inflammatory foods. Because you could have this level of inflammation in your wrist, arm, or thoracic outlet, etc. And you can have a body burden of inflammation that is you know, contributing to it. So we can treat locally but we can also treat globally. Best to do both, to reduce the amount of systemic inflammation to accelerate your recovery. We can also apply topical natural anti-inflammatories, uh, 
to help reduce the pain um, and inflammation locally on the actual area that's a problem. So those are the ways that you can help with ulnar neuropathy in a non-surgical method. Please contact me, healthdetective.co.nz. I'm here to help you save your hands, uh, whether you're a musician or you use your hands in your work or you're a parent having trouble picking up your kids or any issues uh, regarding your hands. Please contact me. I'd be happy to help. Thank you.